hello guys i'm here to give you an update to my naka home uh experience i've uh, owned my naka house now for a little over two years i just want to talk a bit about what it has been like so for me personally it has been the best decision and the biggest blessing ever in my life um i just want to talk a bit about the situation that surrounded how I bought my Naka house. So before I bought my Naka house, I was actually looking at other houses like two years before I closed with Naka. I was probably two or three years before I closed with Naka. I was looking at other houses. I had saved a good amount of money that I was going to use towards down pay, pay, payment towards the house that I wanted to buy. Also, my credit score was over 720 and above. My credit score was pretty good. So, um, given that I had saved money since I was working as an x-ray tech for about, I don't know, maybe like seven years, I had saved for a long time working at an x-ray tech. At that particular time, when I was initially looking to buy a house, I believe I had about 30000 between 30 and 40000 to put down towards my house. So, I was just looking and, you know... I was just looking at you know the options that were out there and when i was looking um the realtor that i was using at that time in my opinion he was just trying to sell me a house as quickly as possible he said my credit score is good i have a decent amount of money to bring towards you know buying the buying the principal down and he said um i i have a decent job so i should be able to afford a decent place so with that in mind the houses that he was showing me and the amount that the monthly mortgage was going to be i was not comfortable with the amount that i was going to be paying every month so looking at it i was honestly like not feeling like I wanted to buy a house at that time and he just kept telling me um, yeah excuse the plane man it's really loud um, <laughs> anyway so he was just trying to sell me a house really quickly and he and he told me like he'll make sure I have somebody in a room that that I could rent out who would help me to bring the mortgage costs down and it'll make owning my home very easy and I just knew that I did not want to buy a house and depend on renting a room out to be able to live comfortably in the house. I just absolutely did not want that. So um, I was looking at the houses and I, the houses, I wasn't even like that crazy about them. Like I was just like, I didn't even like some of the houses. And when I would see the houses that I liked, I was just feeling like I'm not really comfortable paying that monthly mortgage amount. For me personally as an x-ray tech i just wasn't so um i remember that i had asked him if there was a pro program out there for a first time home buyer that would help you to at least you know have some kind of advantage like if you could buy your interest rate down or you know something that could help you i've heard about this but i don't know i'm thinking he would you know be able to help me out with something so what he told me was the only thing that he knows is if i could bring 20 percent down then i could get rid of the insurance cost i don't remember what it's called the uh, api or something like that the insurance that i'll be able to get rid of it if i can bring 20 percent of any house that i want to buy and that was going to cost me at that time I was looking at 200 to 250 thousand dollar houses so i was just like you know i don't know if i can afford that because at that time i did not have 20 percent down for most of the houses that i was seeing and so i was just like maybe i need to I don't know if I need to get a second job or if I just need to go back to school or something. I was just like, I'm not comfortable. So um, while I was looking at houses with him, one day at work, I heard, I heard my friends at work talk, talking about this pro program called NACA. For first time home buy buyers. So when I heard about it, you know, I asked them, can they explain to me how does it work? Because I'm... Um, 
I would like to buy my house, but I'm not able to find anything that could really help me. So they they mentioned that, you know, that with NACA, you can be able to buy your interest rate to as low as zero point something. When I heard that, I was like, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, what? They were like, yes, um, if you are able to bring a certain amount down towards you know, when it's time to close on your house, if you're able to have this amount, a certain amount down, then you can qualify to have to buy your house at zero point something, you know, from a certain amount all the way down to zero. I was like, say no more, sign me up. You know, I was just like, that's it. I want to know how and how to go through it because i have been saving a lot of money waiting to buy my first house but if i have the option to buy my interest rate down that low i already knew the math in my head i already knew know how interest rate works and i already know that interest rate is one of the major cost interest rate can cause you to pay double the price of your house i already knew that so i was like if i can get rid of interest rate then that is the smartest way to buy a house ever like i just knew that so i was just like you know sign me up like how does it work so um i signed up for the workshop and i went to the workshop and i heard them explain even more about how it works i was like so for me i was like i don't care how long it takes i'm gonna buy my house with naka like you know i don't care how difficult it is i had made up my 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 mind that i was gonna buy my house with naka so um as you guys might know it took me two 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 years to be able to close with to be able to close with naka and buy my house but i just want to say that personally for me it has been very very worth it you know i would even take longer you know given the advantage that i currently have because right now I'm able to live in my house stress-free because I was able to buy my interest rate down to a very low amount. And that just means that my monthly mortgage of my house is is amazing. And on top of that, um, my, my interest rate is fixed. So it's not going to change. It's been signed into a contract. It's a fixed interest rate. And I don't ever need to... Um, what do you call it i don't ever need to um change the mortgage rate to refinance my house ever i'm never going to do to, to do do that ever because i don't need to um i mean i'm able to live in my house i do not need to rent the rooms out how some people do some people need to rent their rooms out i'm not knocking anybody but that was something that i really did not want you know if i rent the rooms out in my house that's just going to be something that brings extra income but it's never going to be because i absolutely like i'm desperate to rent a room out you know if i feel like i want to live by myself and keep my privacy i can you know it's easy i'm able to just you know it's just been the absolute best decision for me the another reason why it's been the best deci deci decision is because i qualified for my current house on a part-time x-ray tech job so this was the house i was able to qualify for working as an x-ray tech and working part-time but now i work full-time as an mri tech so it's been like my income has like doubled <laughs> he has damn near doubled and i live very well very comfortably and i don't like live free flavor frivolously <laughs> i'm sorry so i'm able to save a lot you know and that's just the way i am i just love to save i don't like to have any debt you know so if i do rent a room out which i'm thinking about it if i do rent a room out all that income is just going to go towards helping me to pay my house off quickly so yeah so for now um i'm thinking about it renting a room out so yeah so that's the update i don't know if there's any particular questions that anybody would like to know uh, my house is just like any other regular house there are no stipulations there are no um there are no uh what what do you call it like there are no conditions that come with the house it's just a regular house i got you know 
like um, I'm sorry I just happen to ramble a lot um, there, there, there are no conditions that come with, with your Naka house it's just a blessing it's just absolutely a blessing and for me personally it's been the best and the biggest blessing and and I just want to say that if you want to go through Naka you just have to mentally know that it's not the easiest thing to actually do and you have to know that good things don't come easily and naka is one of those if especially if you have that money that you're ready to put down towards bringing your interest rate down you know it's absolutely the best thing ever and i also want to say that during the time that it took me the two the two years to close on my house i was saving during that time i was instead saving more and during that time i also moved into somebody's basement because I wanted to pay as little for rent as possible. So I was barely paying any rent and all the money that I had or I was making, I was saving that towards my NACA, towards my plan to buy my mortgage down. So I, when it was time to close on my house, I had, I don't know if I should tell you guys how much I had, but I did have, I did bring over 60000 towards closing on my naka house so because i brought brought that amount towards closing i mean i brought it when it was time to close what naka did was it took about half of that amount to give me like the interest rate that i had so it did not take all of that money it just took a f like half of it because they did not want me to be house poor they didn't want me to move into a house that uh, if something breaks, I will not be able to afford it. So Naka is just perfect. So I'm so happy that they didn't take all that money. But even if they took all that money, for me personally, it would still be worth it considering how, how you know, comfortable I am. It would totally be worth it. All right, guys. So that's my update. You know, I don't have any complaints, anything. Will I recommend Naka? I absolutely would. But I would let anybody know that to go through the process is not easy. You have to mentally pre pre prepare yourself. You have to try and pay off as much of your debt as possible and try to bring in as much income as you can because they will take off your debt. Like they will take like the debt that you have and apply it towards the mortgage that they will qualify you for so if you can get rid of your debt then you will be able to qualify for more house or a nicer house in a nicer na na neighborhood so yep i hope i wasn't rambling a lot that's my update to my naka house you know it's the biggest blessing i know i've said that so many times but it is so all right guys thank you if you stayed this long Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.